guys so it's a kind of rainy crappy day here so I was um was like you know what I'm gonna film my haul today um also I'm gonna do an update video on just what's been going on on my channel because I know a lot of my videos have been looking different as far as editing and lighting and I'm gonna give you guys an update situation because I know I'm doing the most right now but anyway this is gonna be a really 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 fun beauty related haul um there's a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into it and get into it and do it um I don't even know where to start but I'm gonna start with a couple just like storage items um bed bath and beyond a place I rarely shop um I'm oh you know what I need to show you something first okay before I show you that on eBay if you watch my vlog that just um went up you'll know that um I bought a organizer this is the oh god this is the pampered chef rotating utensil organizer and it's um i mean mine is packed i gotta go through my brushes to, it's like different compartments i gotta go through my brushes to sort them out or whatever but i got that from ebay and i'm using that to store my brushes i only have one now i'm bidding on another one to store my eye brushes so i'm kind of changing up the way my front vanity looks don't worry i'll do a video on like a before and after and um so i'm trying to organize that and you know that make any sense so I got that from eBay I'm really really enjoying it I'm gonna get a second one so it's gonna be brushes here brushes here and I'm gonna have this space in the middle remember how my um brushes were all lined up across won't be that way so now we can go to Bed Bath & Beyond and to sit in the middle so far um I got just like a plain white tray because makeup's gonna go there whether it's my everyday makeup like I'm really reorganizing just how I store the stuff on top not really in the drawers or anything just on top because like I want to have a section for makeup that I'm wearing makeup that I'm reviewing whole makeup you know what I'm saying favorites things like that I'm just trying to ooh, trying to reorganize that so this little expand drool organizer tray was at um where was this bed bath and beyond for five bucks so I got this for my vanity situation also from bed bath and beyond I just really like this bottle for some reason but I got it this is the um, linen sensations it's a home and linen spray and they had different scents but I got cotton mist I am a big let's see if it'll focus cuz I yeah I am a big fan I know my lighting's weird cuz I don't have my main light on and wait is that better that's a little better um I am a big fan of clean linen ocean breeze water those type of scents so I got this to spray in my bedding area and just in the air I know it's yeah so I got that um also I'm gonna talk about the makeup don't worry I got some makeup here um I went to Aldi grocery store told you guys if you watched my empties video and I got more wipes. These are the Lullaby wipes. They're 85 cents or 88 cents. So I stocked up on those. I got like four. I got five packs that I gave my mom a pack. So I stocked up on those. Okay. Then, where do I want to go from here? Clearance section at Walgreens. Um. So I grabbed some Oral-B complete like floss picks. You can never have enough flossers like in your purse, everywhere. They're going to go in my vanity. Just like pick your teeth before you do a video I have I have I have used them I was gonna say I have a lot of them but I've used them and these are icy cool mint flavor but they were 34 cents so I got two packs I may have got yeah I got two packs they were 34 cent these um flossers so those also in the clearance section for 49 cents this is Burt's Bees baby shampoo it was 50 cent for a little bottle cleaning makeup brushes um I have makeup brush cleanser makeup brush soap but immediately when I looked at it, I was like oh cleaning makeup brushes so um yeah this Burt's Bees it's baby baby bee but I got it because it was more so 50 cents the cleaning makeup brushes and focus I mean only took four days to focus Also in the clearance section, I got some dry shampoo. This is by the brand 
Salon Graphics. It's Play It Big Volumizing Dry Shampoo with Keratin Protein Complex. Came in shades. They had clear, they had brown, and they had blonde. I got clear. Um, I am a big fan of dry shampoo because with my natural hair, washing it, washing it every few days is hell. I don't. I wash my hair once a week. Um, and if it's a solid style, maybe once every two weeks. And so, it, the dry shampoo in between styling and everything, I, I like it. Um, so, yeah, and I got to clear. But this was 74 cents, so I, to try it out, I got three cans of that. But yeah, I wash my hair once a week. I do not wash my hair every day. Call me gross. Do your research. Um... <laughs> Okay, now on to some fun items. Fun items. Uh, I just got this from Walgreens today. I've been eyeing it back and forth. And then Maybelline went buy one, get one half off. And I had two coupons, so I was like, my time to buy it now. It is the Maybelline New York Super Stay Better Skin Foundation and Concealer. Um, this is a fairly new foundation out for Maybelline which claims to, um, over time, help your skin, you know, improve the look of your skin. I got the shade 95 Coconut because, A, it's the darkest shade. In Maybelline foundations, I'm usually the last shade. And it's the same shade as my Dream Wonder Fluid Touch, 95 Coconut. I don't know if it looks the same, but same number and same name. So I figured I'd be pretty safe with that. The concealers come in, like, light, medium, deep. They have medium, deep. On the darker end, they have medium, deep, and deep. Deep was not that much deeper than medium deep. This is medium deep. And since I like a little brightening situation with my concealer, I was going back and forth and I was like, all right, I got medium deep. If I like this concealer, because I heard a lot of raves and good things about this concealer, like comparing it to, saying it's better than the Fit Me, comparing it to the NYX or the NARS, like I um, would get a couple more of these in different colors, because y'all know me. One concealers are about... Wand concealers are by far my favorite type of concealer right now. All right, so I got that. What else we got up in here? What else we got up in here? Um, speaking of Maybelline, I have a couple more products because I did my one brand tutorial, Maybelline, and so I had to buy a few things. And I got the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush. And this was in the shade Pink Rose. And so um, blush leaves much to be desired. But it's a very, very pretty highlight um, on me. That's what it looks like. I just feel like I look animated in this video. Like there's some special effect on it. And I swear it's not. And I also got the Maybelline Baby Lips. One of the new Maybelline Baby Lips lip glosses. And this one is in the shade. It's like the Cleary Iridescent. And this is in the shade. I do not. Oh, just a glimmer. Mine has a little bit of pink on the um, on the uh, applicator because I used it on a, I used it over a lipstick, but all right, still going, still going. Uh, I mean this stuff is I've had it for so long. Um, we're gonna go to LA Girl. Um, I got this from a beauty store. This is the LA Girl Pro BB Cream. I heard really good things about this. And I saw it in the beauty store, but it didn't have my color. And they restocked. And this is in the shade Dark. I have worn this about three times, and I love it. It is amazing coverage for a BB cream. Um, it I put it on. It was like 97 degrees outside. And if you follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat, because I do like updates throughout the day. I mean, it was awesome um like i said not the best or the most full coverage but it was it was a good amount of coverage with my powder i really really enjoy this so this is the la girl pro bb cream and it was two dollars and 99 cents i mean can we and you get a whole ounce in here this is the this is the amount of foundation you would get in a standard foundation i mean awesome 
Okay, and then keep on with LA Girl at another beauty store. I got two of the beauty bricks. And basically, and basically what the beauty bricks are is a little face palette. And it has two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. And I woo, and I got two of them. There were four ones based on like I guess skin tone or whatever. And the two I got are Glam and Spice. I'm wearing Glam right now. I'm wearing this blush from Glam and the highlight from Glam. They're very, very pigmented powders. Very, very, I don't know, nicely, what's the word? Um, coordinated together. So this is Glam. As you can see, very, very nice. Sorry if my camera changed. Again, I'm going through some things. with. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure some things out. I will share some updates with you guys very soon and like very soon if not before this video um where was I okay and then here is spice okay now we're gonna go on to the um really quickly Milani is I'm all over the place. Milani Color Statement Nail Polishes. Um, these are like $2.99, $3.99. Um, they were in sale at Walmart for $97. $1.97. Canvas. They were on sale at Walmart for $0.97. Cents. Anyway, and here's what they look like. Um, you guys seen these before. And these are the shades that I got. This first shade is called Frenchy Sheer. It, yes, it is, um, you know, like when you do a French manicure, so that's the first shade I got. Like I said, the display was kind of picked through. Um, y'all know I love a mint, blue, green. This is Pastel Crush. This is what it looks like. And then this one really spoke to me. This deep navy called Ink Spot. Look at that. I mean, woo! All right, so now let's go on to Ulta. Ulta had um, a sale on their brand products where it was like $5 down to $1 depending on the category or whatever you got. So for $1, up oh, it's full now, I got the Ulta brand pencil sharpener. And basically you sharpen, it's a really nice sharpener and then it catches the shavings in here. And that was $1. And I think these were 2 or $3. These are eyeliners. These are the Ulta... Ulta Precision Liquid Eyeliners, and they are, sorry for the glare, they are felt tip liners, and I got blue and black felt tip. I use them, they're all right. I mean, the only complaint I have right now is, one, they don't last, I don't want to say don't last, but they don't last in the sense of like I can see me running out of this really soon because it picks up your eyeshadow. You know how you do your liner and like let's say this green shadow I have on, I do my liner and then it's a little bit of green on the on the pencil on the brush and it doesn't really go away for a while. If that makes any sense. But anyway, for thirty dollars they're a good liner to have. And here's I'm gonna do a swatch. I'll do a swatch of the black and a swatch of the blue. That's what they look like. All right. Also, this was five bucks, and I got it because the sw the one the tester uh, looked really good. And this is Ulta. It's a baked bronzer, and this is in the shade Radiance. And I got it to bronze my skin, duh, but not too much highlighting. And it bronzes my skin without. It gives me a glow without highlighting my face too much. It's a super concentrated swatch, but blend it out. I don't know. I like it. So, so I say that like that. All right, and then from NYX, I'm almost done, y'all. Swear. And then from NYX, I got an HD finishing powder. I talked about this in a video. I know I have. And this is in the shade Banana. And I got this because um, I love my banana powder. I love my loose setting powders to set under my eyes. But I figured if this is a nice translucent pressed version why not try it out and this was when NYX was like 40% off so it's in banana I have been using it I do like it it's a setting powder it doesn't really harm me or any other way um I don't know if it 
last as long as the banana banana in the sense of like under my eyes but still using it all right and then from Ulta I went into Ulta and I got a free gift from La Rock um, because I bought something else and it's the La Rock Pro Fiber Mascara Ma uh, mascara I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to show you guys first just in case you know how fiber mascaras get yucky so I wanted to um, show you before I tried it I mean I got this weeks a uh, weeks ago this is the La Rock Pro plus fiber mascara and I think I'm going to like it because one there's the brush. You can barely, I don't even know if it's picking up on camera, see the fibers. In these fiber mascaras, if I can see the thick fiber, like black strings in the mascara, I know it's going to be a hot mess. And also, this doesn't come with some primer situation where one part's going to get gunky. It's just the mascara. So I think, I have high hopes for it because I think it um, may work. So, can't wait to try that. And the reason why I got the free gift is because I purchased the Lorac Pro Matte and the Lorac Pro Metal Palette. You guys have, don't know how long I have been waiting to share this with you. Um, if you follow me on social media or you watch any of my other videos, I probably snuck it in some kind of way. But anyway, the Pro Matte looks like this. Let's take that off now. Comes with eight shades. These are... You know the Little Rock Pro Palette, um, where it has eight matte and eight shimmer, and um, her Pro formula of shadows are different than like her other formula of shadows and palettes. These are the Pro formula. This is what the palette looks like. I love the Pro formula, and this is the matte palette. You see, I've been using them. Um, I'll do looks with it. I'll do a look with these two palettes. This is the Little Rock Pro Metal palette. This is what it looks like, metallic finish. I mean, very reflective, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm wearing Clover with my finger um, right across my lid here. I just threw it on. I don't even use. I didn't use an eye primer today either. Just threw it on before the video because I wanted to say I had one on. And then finally, I'm not going to talk too fat, too much about these because I am going to do a swatch slash review video on them. But through my searching, I managed to find seven, hold on, I'm trying to pick them up, seven out of the eight new Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. Yes, if you guys have not known, you know, Le Milani has come out with matte liquid lipsticks long wearing matte liquid lipsticks i know and it's sad because they're limited edition and they are selling out of these stores it's only they're only exclusive to i'm gonna hold up one here this is in the shade desire they're only they're exclusive to walgreens but milani did say through their social media um through the blog i read different places that these will be available online in September so they've been sending the products to the stores and I heard the stores were supposed to bring them out later on like August ish but the stores have been putting them out now and so uh, people have been cleaning them up so this is the more matte lip cream and it is a matte liquid lipstick $6.99 and they came out with eight shades I got seven out of the eight I am still looking for the last one and I will find it um, even if I don't find it before I do the lip swatch video like I want to get it I've already worn a couple I am enjoying them um, I will do a lip swatch video but yes the more matte lip creams and this is my PSA to you go out and find them like go out and find them um they're in the same to same exact packaging as one of their brilliant shine lip glosses like same size same repurpose the packaging but the back looks a little different so if you see a standalone display and you're not really reading it's probably these because these are they're not going to be in the permanent situation. So yeah, I got seven out of the eight new Melania more matte lip creams and a swatch video and everything will be coming up very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But that is all for my gigantic beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, requests, concerns, leave them down below in the comment section and I will get to it. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the very next video. Bye.